420 MSP, Harry here on the road, coming to you from an undisclosed location in Florida after the Acronis Global Cyber Summit. So um, we are back with one of our contributors, Blake, out of Colorado Springs. So Blake, uh, how's it going down there? You said you, you have a couple wins in your core MSP business. Congratulations, my friend. That always makes for a nice day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a very good, uh, very good couple days. So got a couple good deals closed. So um, you know, things things keep looking up. Yeah, yeah. No, and boy, how do you sure like to charge full steam? Um, well, hey, Blake, I'm going to keep it simple today. Uh, we are uh, halfway through our planning cycle for a two-day uh, technology cannabis technology event. I want to say for service providers, it doesn't just have to be MSPs, but it will be a, a technology bit. Thinking of a two-day in April in Denver, and um, just just curious if that's the kind of thing that that you would take, you know, time. You, you drive up from Colorado Springs, we'll probably have you participate. So that's not entirely fair, but is that the kind of thing that you could invest your time in? In particular, time is is very valuable. Yeah, I think it's worth worth a couple of days. Um, and if I was out of town, I'd probably fly in if the if the content looked really good, um, because there's just nothing out there for um, um, helping IT guys figure out or MSPs figure out what the cannabis space looks like. Um, yeah. And there is a pretty steep learning curve of of you know what are the what are the players, what's the software that's out there, you know what are they um, looking at from a support model. Um, I'd also um, the uh, video security guys are out there also heavily uh, represented and and video security is a huge uh, a huge piece of the network and a lot yeah. of these uh, uh, places are just getting stuff from Costco and plugging it in but it's a huge risk because if they're down the fines are very hefty if you're if you're not recording your your video yeah exactly and that's the nuances of this business is you know Blake on the one hand you could say it's an SMB it's it's a business it has business workflow. On the other hand, you can say this is a vertical with very specific requirements in the vertical space, right? If, if that makes right. sense. Yeah, yeah. And if you don't understand the the importance of of, of you know UPSs and and camera servers in this, you know, you're you're doing a disservice because there's a huge network opportunity there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, any other. Uh, in, any other thoughts that, that come to mind on the type of content you'd like to see? And let me let me let me ask the question a, a different way. <clears throat> Do you think our audience would want to get into the uh, extraction layer? So where they use the turpins and, and other voodoo to make different flavors and that kind of thing. We're starting to get into the science. Um, you could call it technology. They're certainly using technology, but it's more from a biology point of view. Is that a bridge too far for our audience to get down into the processors and extractors and what they do? At this point, I mean, I think maybe a, uh, you know, a, a, a one-on-one on the, on the whole industry, you know, what are the different pieces of yeah. the industry? So you want to go verticalize, you know, in, in, in cannabis. Well, you know, we talked about this the last time we met is, yeah. is the dispensaries yeah. you have to be very careful of because they're just mom and pop shops a lot of times. And, and they're running a lifestyle business and a lot of them are getting absorbed and bought out and then all of a sudden you lose a client. Whereas, you know, upstream from that and the uh, uh, the ancillary businesses, you know, are, are better places to look. Yep. Well, sir, you're hired. We're going to we're, we're, we're yeah. going to get you on the content committee and we're going to get you speaking. Um, we talked about it last time, but you're already uh, participating in the industry. So, folks. Click down below at 420 MSP in the vault to catch that first interview. And Blake, congratulations on having a, a great week, a couple wins this week, and may, may you knock out another win before the uh, the factory closes Friday at 5 p.m. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got a team meeting uh, tomorrow, so we got everybody uh, going to lunch, doing some training. So, um, and so, oh, on your, on, your, on your April meeting, are you going to do it around April 20th? No, no, we're not. No. And I'll tell you why. No, that's a funny joke because we do, in fact, have 420 as our branding. <coughs> Blake, what we found when I was researching the book, and this is in all seriousness, 
is so many of the people in the supply chain are busy around April 20th, yeah. right? They have their promotions. They have Snoop Dogg stopping by. They have this. They, I mean, literally, they have this. They have that. And so that's actually a very poor time to hold an event. Right. Um, and it, it's always good for an Instagram selfie. You can, you know, stand right. in front of a, stand in front of a bank sign at 4:20 p.m. on April 20th. It's a funny Instagram photo, but in reality, it's a very poor time to actually hold an industry learning event. But oh, that's yeah. a good one. <laughs> yeah. All right, All my right. friend. Well, hey, take care. We'll talk to you next month. Thank All you. All right. Sounds good.